Greetings from Lake Skillet. This is Mr. Madden Mick 1-5. Uh, noticed I've changed, changed things up just a little bit. People have commented that my videos were a little plain. So I had a fancy backdrop. I've got the flags. I've got the gunny here with me. So anyway, enough of the jocularity. Um, many, many, many people have written in and uh, have asked about my bug out bags, my get home bags, all that kind of stuff. Uh, so I've got a few of the, a few of them laid out here uh, because um, I found that not one, one particular uh, get home bag will encompass every situation I'm in. I have some that's uh, that I take that I can. Like if I'm out of town, I've flown out of town, I'm miles and miles away from home. I've got some if I'm across town, and I've got some that's maybe a day and a half walk, whatever. But I can't have just one one bag or one get home bag that's going to encompass every situation I run into. So I'm probably going to be doing a series on going over various various kinds of uh, get home bags uh, but the uh, the first one I'd like to go over is uh, probably one I use quite frequently quite possibly uh, the most uh, let me get some of this out of the way uh, and I'll show you go over real quickly my I guess my go-to, uh, the one I use the most as far as uh, my get home, my get home kits, and um, I'm wearing it. It's called Scotty Vest, and it's my jacket. Uh, now if you notice, it looks like an ordinary jacket, only it will make you appear maybe 5, 10, 15, 20, in my case 50 pounds heavier. but. Uh, uh, it's designed, um, it's like Captain Kangaroo's jacket on steroids. There's pockets everywhere in this thing. So I'm just going to uh, just slip it off here and give you a quick rundown of what's in it. It weighs probably, I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna guess to make maybe uh, 10 to 15 pounds. Um, We'll start with the we'll start with the sleeves. And I got little pockets here on the sleeves. And in this pocket, I have a tool logic. It's just a simple knife. But the handy part about it is it's got a fire a ferro rod in it. So if need be, I can start a fire with it. Uh, Great little knife, and in the other other pocket on the other arm, and these are right at the wrist, is my other little knife, and this is a uh, this is the uh, rucksack uh, Swiss Army knife. It has a locking blade, which I really like, and it's got an actual Honest to goodness, working saw that actually works. And of course, the bottle opener and the can opener. And attached to it, I have a little, a little, uh, got, got a whistle, got a little light, and got an extra ferro rod in this little piece of latex tubing. Inside, it's just, it's just full of pockets. It's just little pockets. Uh, in this pocket, I have a just a basic first aid kit. Nothing spectacular. The main the main purpose of this of this uh, setup, this jacket, is basically to get me to my vehicle. Uh, be it uh, uh, out for a stroll, uh, shopping with the family, uh, doing other activities. Uh, this is going to get me to where I can get more stuff. But if need be, 
I could go with just this. Um, have some uh, contractor grade trash bags. Uh, got two of those in here for emergency shelter if I need it, emergency poncho. Although the jacket is rainproof, um, it is rainproof, but still. Um, I have, uh, have some cordage in that pocket. I have a uh, diamond knife sharpener in this pocket. I don't know how well this is uh, this is filming. I guess I'll see in a moment to uh, review it. Um, but uh, in this uh, side pocket here, I have a, a spork. I have some handy wipes and some hand sanitizer, which works good to wash your hands. Um, and also for a fire starter. Good for various things. In this little pocket here, I've got chapstick and a small big lighter. Uh, fire is very important. I carry multiple ways to make fire. Uh, in this pocket, I have a hydration bladder. And the hydration bladder runs all the way up the jacket and actually comes out in the side pocket here. I can actually reach just inside my pocket, inside my jacket, and I've got my water. Um, also in here I have some spare sunglasses, safety glasses. Um, and uh, on the Inside, outside pocket here, moving to the outside, I have, there's just so many pockets in here, oh, there it is, I forget where the zippers are at. <laughs> uh, this is just uh, some water purification tablets, uh, some more uh, hand sanitizer, some Vaseline, also a good fire starter and a pair of uh, latex gloves. And I know what you might have to handle. And uh, let's move to the outside. Let's see what we got out here. In this pocket, and they're all, these pockets run from here to here. They're huge pockets, so you can fit a lot in there. This is my uh, AM and FM, uh, shortwave one and shortwave two radio. Uh, it's just a little, it's just a little one. Don't need nothing big. And I've got my earbuds for it in case you know. I don't want anybody to know I'm listening to the radio and listening to the latest traffic reports or riot reports or whatever might be coming across the the uh, the radio. Also have a flashlight. That takes care of that pocket. In this pocket, I have a compass and one leather glove. In case I have to handle something or punch a hole in the window or whatever I feel like I might need to do. And in this side, I have a pair of binoculars. Uh, just a, a small set of uh, 10 power binoculars. Uh, nothing fancy, nothing great, but they work good. Because uh, if I can see trouble ahead, I can avoid trouble ahead. So I like having the option of being able to look out and seeing what I'm fixing to walk into. Because uh, if I can avoid trouble, I'll do it. Uh, and in this pocket, I have the glove for the other hand, leather glove. And last but certainly not least, in this main back pocket here, and all this stuff is designed to carry the weight and don't it, it doesn't telegraph. It doesn't uh, silhouette whatever it is you're carrying. That's that's uh, the way uh, 
man's name that started the company, Scott Jordan, I do believe. That's the way he designed it. Um, in this back pocket, I have maps. Um, and if I uh, know I'm traveling to a particular city, um, out of state, across the country or wherever, I like to have a map. Um, and that way, if I have to get out of town quickly, I know the best route to get out. I know which way to head, which way to go. I also like on my maps to plot uh, things like uh, public libraries and cemeteries. Because if I'm, if I'm having to, to get out of a city, um, not, very mental, not very many of your criminal element when a riot breaks out are going to say, finally, it's my chance to get the complete works of William Shakespeare and breaking into a public library. Not really top of their list. Also, cemeteries. Cemeteries, I, I, I can usually find squirrels. I have rudimentary shelter. Not too many people, if they're in a frantic riot, um, you know, everything has broken down in society. Graveyard is usually not the first place they will go to to loot, to pillage. Um, so I'm relatively safe in those two areas. Uh, I feel like I've always felt comfortable with it. Don't have a problem sleeping with the dead people. Uh, they're actually some of the nicest people you'll ever meet. Um, also in here, I have uh, three MRE entrees, so I've got some chow. It's not, uh, I'm not gonna live on it, um, but I'll survive on it. Uh, but, that, but that gives me a, uh, a rudimentary system with which to seek safety for me and my loved ones and it's called a Scotty Vest and uh, I would put a link below this video but I have no idea how to do that so just google Scott E Vest um, and uh, look over some of the merchandise um, Another feature of this jacket is the sleeves actually do zip out, so you could wear it as a vest. Um, and it comes in a layered system with the uh, with a fleece that also has pockets, um, and you can do a lot with that. And you'll appear gray. Uh, most people, if you got the nice tactical bags and all that, and you're walking out of the city or whatever, dude looks around and says, "Hey, you got a nice bag. Let's let's jump him and see what he's got in that." Um, this way, I'm carrying pretty much the same stuff. I'm carrying one of those nice tactical bags with the molly straps and all that, but I'm not telegraphing, hey, hey, come hit me in the head and steal what I've got. Um, I'm going to be more subtle, be more gray. So, check out the Scotty Vest, and uh, uh, until next time, this is Mr. Mad Mick 15 signing out.